Magandang magandang hapon muli at nandito tayo sa ating special live stream kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang upcoming na bagong phone ng Honor. Of course, this is none other than the Honor 8S. Some of us prob probably would have seen it yesterday as it was unveiled to the public that Honor 8S is coming to the Philippines. And here we are right now to talk about the Honor 8S. It's none other than the product manager of Honor Philippines, Mr. David Laranga. So, Sir David, kamusta po kayo? I'm excited to show this uh, this new and exciting na bagong labas ni Honor 8S. Na, ni Honor Phone, which is the Honor 8S. So, yun. Let's start. Okay, so first, syempre, hindi mo wawala yung mobile, yung Honor 8S itself. And then, meron tayong uh, SIM card ejector. Ayan, naka, syempre, for the eject, ejection of the SIM. And then, meron tayong uh, charger cord. And, uh, syempre, yung, yung USB natin. Na USB, micro USB 2.0. And, syempre, ito. Meron din siyang kasamang earphones. So, kahit sobrang uh, bang. Well, actually, pwede, na, pwede ko na siyang tawagin ngayon na uh, bang for the back. So, talagang dahil meron tayong uh, earphones with this price level. Okay. So, simulan natin. Uh, ito yung Honor 8S natin. So, let's see the design. So, if we will check the design. So, meron siyang uh, dual dual tone design na tinatawag natin. So, meron siyang uh, smooth design dun sa camera side. And then, uh, may texturized design siya dun sa kabila. Which is para mas madaling hawakan. So, tawag dito dual? Dual textured. Dual tone design. Dual tone design. Yep. No? So, Part of that is the smooth finish. The smooth, smooth finish and then uh, so texturized, this, uh, texturized. And texture. Texturized. So, so kaya siya tinawag na dual tone. No? Yes. Those and two designs ng pinasok natin. So nakakatulong siya. Siyempre, kapag hinawakan mo siya, hindi siya madaling mag-slide. And then hindi rin siya fingerprints magi. Dun yung, yung, uh, yung texture niya. And then yun niya. Uh, if you check nyo pa, uh, so buksan na natin yung phone. Meron siyang 5.7 to 1 inch display. Which is, and also not, uh, dewdrop display na siya. So, so ibig sabihin... Ano yan, no? Uso yan sa mga bagong phones ngayon. Yes. Nakalala ko yung mga telepono natin before is, what we have is, uh, is a plain screen para talagang kita natin lahat. But ito, nauso tong dewdrop, na talagang may isang maliit na notch maliit na, na lang na nakikita, Kasi, no? sa market natin ngayon, talagang dapat usong-uso na lang na parang screen na lang talaga, display na lang yung may kita natin for better viewing experience na rin, syempre. So, ayan. Simulan na natin. So, yun nga. Inside the box, ito na yung Honor 8S natin. And it is uh, it's beautiful. So, may kita natin, upgraded siya Android Pie. So, it, it is EMUI 9. And, uh, ayan, power, ano siya, based on Android Pie. So, updated, pinaka-updated na OS. Si Honor 8S. And then, also, ayan, so we have this, uh, two colors. So, meron tayong blue, which is ito nga, na blue. And then, meron din tayong black. So, uh, pwede, pag, pwede kang mamili. So, kung gusto mo na medyo, uh, medyo trendy na design, so you can go with the blue. And then, kung classic naman yung gusto mo. So, meron tayong uh, black design for that. So, I think itong mga colors natin, Sir David, if I'm not mistaken, has been parang naging staple no, ni Honor. There's always two colors yep, so, that you actually release per model. Yes, kasi yun, we, we, we know our target customer. So, syempre, hindi naman yan isa lang isang tamaan lang. So, meron talaga tayong laging iba-ibang customers na to to work with our phones with. So, meron siyang 5.7 to 1 inch display and then dewdrop display. So, nakatulong siya na mas malaki yung, yung viewing experience ng screen. So, yan. So, pwede ba natin i-zoom na lang dito for the camera? Kita ba? Ayan. So, ayan. Kita natin. So, napakalaki ng uh, screen niyan. So, so, and also, sobrang smooth ng transitions natin. Now, if you could check. Ayan. Okay. So next, it check natin. So here are the features of the phone. So first, so may nga, 5.71 dewdrop display and then meron siyang uh, tough rainland uh, certification. Ibig sabihin, meron siyang blue light filter. So safe gamitin yung phone natin kung medyo yung mga nagbababad sa phone, nagbabasa ng uh, books. Ganyan. So meron tayong pag medyo pagod na sila yung mata nila. So we can on the blue light filter and safe siya gamitin, walang radiation since certified tayo ng tough rainland. Okay, so blue light certification. Yes. So, yun ang tawag doon, yes. blue light certification. So sa mga viewers na hindi pa po nakakaalam, hindi natin alam, pag matagal tayong nakababad sa telepono natin, sumasakit mga mata natin, it's because of that blue light. Of the blue light, yes. Of the blue light. So ang ginagawa ng blue light filter is yun, pinifilter niya yung blue light para mas comfortable na ulit magbasa or magbab magbabad, mag-binge watch sa Netflix or sa mga ganyang sites. Okay. 
Okay, so next, syempre, yung camera. So, ano yung camera ng Honor 8S? So, yung uh, rear camera is 13 megapixel, which is sobrang uh, okay na siya for this affordable entry-level phone. And then, yung, uh, yung Dewdrop camera natin, which is yun nga, meron siyang 5 megapixel for the selfie. So, pag gusto rin mag-selfie ng mga customers, eto, meron tayong 5 megapixel. Dewdrop Dewdrop camera. Sir David, napansin ko dito sa presentation mo, it's not just nakasulat na 13 megapixel yung rear camera, pero ang nakasulat sa kanya, meron siyang uh, f-stop na 1.8 wide aperture. Yes. I think not everybody knows how camera works. Pero uh, being a hobbyist or a camera yes. hobbyist before, uh, napaka-importante itong wide aperture at itong focal length or focal depth na f1.8. Para saan ba siya? Para maintindihan ng mga viewers. Okay, natin. so well, actually, para maintindihan nga ng mga viewers, para mas ma-appreciate nyo yung f1.8 flag, halos flagship level aperture. So aperture, ito yung opening ng lens. So mas uh, mas lower yung uh, number ng f-stop or yung aperture, mas ma-wide yung opening ng lens para mas clear yung uh, yung photos natin. Mas, mag, mas may pumapasok na natural light. So ibig sabihin, kapag uh, almost flagship level, yung yung uh, aperture level natin so mas maganda magtake ng pictures sa mga low light el selfie mas bright yung pictures na lumalabas so yun sir so para pala siya sa low light yes. ah, so isa to sa mga usage ng uh, low ng, f stop aperture, f -stop aperture so, yes. more light para sa mga medyo talagang dark moments yes ganun diba? sir mas lumiliwanag ang mga <laughs> pictures natin tapos yeah. sa 5 megapixel natin, napansin ko ito, very specific, meron tayong ring screen fill light. Yes, ring screen fill light. So ito, ito yung uh, mas mas magandang term dyan or yung mas usong term na ginagamit ngayon is yung uh, screen screen flash. Screen flash. Yeah, so ito yung square light na lumalabas kapag ka, nagpipicture ka. And then hindi, yes, hindi siya yun sobrang nakakasilaw sa, sa, ibang, sa, sa mga katabi mo. Nasa screen lang talaga siya and then kapag nag-shot ka, magbe-burst yung light para mas makikita mo pag after yung yung after nung camera after nung photo ayun mas okay na brighter na yung yung picture natin so ano yun, sir is it an automatic feature na uh, no, sa Honor uh, AS or it is a flash so we can turn it on and off or automatic okay. based on our preference oh, kasi I, i'm sure no sa mga viewers out there minsan di natin na naaalala that there are small features na talagang pinapaganda yung user experience natin sa mga phones. So, do remember, it's not just a 13 megapixel uh, rear camera and a 5 megapixel front camera, but meron siyang wide aperture lens and at the same time, meron siyang ring uh, screen fill light or yung screen flash na tinatawag. Okay, so for, 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 for performance, uh, we are powered by Helio A22 quad-core processor. So, yung iba medyo nagtataka, quad-core processor siya. Pero kasi this is a new quad-core processor, meaning mas mataas yung clock speed ng ating quad-core processor, which is Helio A22, meaning almost almost exactly the same na siya with some older uh, octa-core processor. So, kaya na natin siyang mag faster performance. Kaya natin maglaro ng uh, Mobile Legends dito. Actually, nasubukan ko na siya mm -hmm. na Mobile Legends in all settings. Ka in, in, high, no, highest settings? Highest I mean, settings, uh, well, hindi siya preferable, pero nakakapaglaro. Pero playable, na, playable, playable na high settings. Uh, playable so, uh, recommended settings is medium. Medium. So, with this, uh, for 5490, tapos pwede ka na maglaro na yung Mobile Legends in medium settings. Okay na siya. So, it's a, it's a quad core, it's a quad core. Uh, uh, Helio A22. Helio so, yes, this A20. is made by MediaTek. By MediaTek. Yes. So, yun, in terms of speed, kasi minsan may mga, may mga tao na gusto talaga nilang hanapin yung... Uh, Ilang gigahertz ba yan? Gano'n ba kabilis talaga yan? Yan. So, uh, yung Helio A20 na natin has 2.0 gigahertz. 2.0. Yes. So, di ba, nasa, nasa 2.0 level na tayo, which is almost the same na dun sa mga uh, ibang processor natin ngayon sa market. So, yan. Faster siya. And then, syempre, isa pa sa pinagmamalaki namin dito sa Honor 8S is yung storage. Storage. Yes. Okay, what do you mean by storage? Para uh, yung natin pinagmamayabang yung storage yes, nito. Yes, kasi meron tayong uh, 2 gig RAM and then 32 gig uh, internal memory or internal storage. So, yung sa mga gandong price point is konti lang yung may mga 32 gig storage na nandyan sa market. So, ngayon, almost 16 gig. So, yan, mga ganun lang. So, ngayon, dinoble natin yung storage natin. Para, syempre nga, yung target market natin, mas okay na sila sa storage. Kasi, syempre, binge watching ng movies. Playing games, ayan. May mga music, mga nagsisave ng music. Ayan, kayang-kaya gawin niya ng, ng Honor 8S eh, since mas malaki yung storage niya. Wait, there's more. May ganun mm -hmm. pa tayong features. Since triple card slot din siya. Triple card slot. Meaning, triple card slot. Yep. So meaning, uh, pwede kang magkabit ng uh, dual SIM 
plus SD card. So kung nakulangan ka pa sa 32 gig, kung medyo gusto mo pang mag-add ng storage, is kaya niyang mag-add up to 512 gig of expendable storage. Wow, ng kasi SD. naalala ko uh, sa mga viewers natin, yung, yung mga phones natin last year, pinakamarami lang, I think was two, 256. Two, 256 lang yung supported. Yep. And two SIM slots. Two SIM slots. Yung isa is for your SIM. The other one is interchangeable sa SD card yes, and sa, that's, that's sa SIM. Hybrid. Hybrid. Natin, hybrid. Ngayon, yep. tatlo na. Yes. Dual cards. A triple cards. So, sir, sir David, yung pangatlo ba is just for uh, the SIM card? Or is it also possible na gamitin natin yan for another SIM? Kasi alam naman natin may tatlo tayong operators ah, yeah. ng cellular network. Ah, well, uh, for that, for, for now, uh, SD card. Micro SD card. Micro SD card. Pero we will, ah, syempre, yun nga, may third tail ko na tayo. Baka, in the future, magkaroon tayo ng ganyan. So Pero ngayon, micro SD card lang doon sa third slot. So, three, triple card slot, dalawa, is, yung, the other two is for the dual SIM. Dual SIM, yep. Dual SIM, and the other one is for the expandable storage. Yes. Okay, para at least clear lang tayo. Ayan, okay. So, yun. So, yun na, may triple card na tayo. And also, yung battery life niya. So, meron siya tayong at 3020 mAh or milliampere hours na battery. So, okay siya. Average battery. Pero kasi, in paper, kaya niya tumagal ng more than a day. So, bakit? Explain natin. Kasi, si Helio A22, which is yun nga, yung processor natin, has a 12 nanometer chipset. So, meaning, mas power efficient. So, mas mababa yung nanometer. So, sa mga hindi nakakaalam sa mga viewers natin. So, mas uh, mababa yung nanometer chipset. Ah, sorry. Yung nanometer and mas power efficient yung phone. And also, dumagdag din na HD plus yung camera niya. Ay, yung, uh, yung display niya. So, syempre, kapag F... Well, wala namang kasing FHD sa gantong entry-level market. So, yun. Kaya sobrang, uh, sobrang power efficient ng Honor 8S natin na kaya niyang tumagal ng more than a day in a single use. Sir David, yung, yung one day na... Ano, is it on standby mode? Yes, or is it or on, on standby? On standby. With uh, regular uh, mga, mga use na konting-konting uh, check ng mga messages or gano'n. Yes. Pero paano naman kung continuous watching ako kasi may sinusubaybayan akong show at tuloy-tuloy ko siyang ginagamit. Yung yung ganitong klaseng battery, uh, how long does it last? So it it will last at least I, I will I will assure that it will last more than half a day if regular yes. More than half a day yes, ng tuloy-tuloy na panonood. Tuloy -tuloy na panonood. Yes. Wow, ah. more than half a day. So Subukan natin, di ba? I mean, siguro baka that's one of the things that we'll be doing. Pwede natin i-timelapse yan and show yeah, it sure. in, our can, future, in our future streams dito sa PC Express Live. Because we, alam naman natin, Sir David, saka mga viewers natin, it's very important for us na yung battery natin tumatagal. Yeah. Kasi, biyahe pa lang natin, ilang oras na tayo sa biyahe, <laughs> di ba? Yes, so, no. talagang, dapat tumagal yan. Na talagang kayang-kaya. Hindi ka nabibitin, mas lalo na on the way home at nanonood ka ng yung mga favorite teleserye eh. Yes, uh, sobrang ganda natin. talaga. Ayan. Kailangan, Kailangan natin ng mga... malaking battery for that. Oo. Oh, oh. Yes. Okay. Okay, so next is, yun nga, uh, sadly, hindi lang siya. Well, so, wala siyang fingerprint unlock, but meron tayong uh, face unlock na tinatawag. Face unlock. Yep. Oh. So, pwede tayong i-record natin yung face, face natin, face recognition, and then, syempre, kilala natin si Honor. Honor is known for its having face, uh, fast face unlock. So, less than 3 seconds, kaya niya mag-face uh, unlock. And so, yun. Less than 3 seconds. So, sobrang bilis ng face unlock natin. So, yung face this. unlock feature ng Honor uh, Honor 8S, so, of course, you have to register your face, di ba? Yes, first, you have to Paano register. Paano for face. example, may kakambal ako? Will it open? Well, for that, kasi syempre, depende sa features naman yan, ng mga, ng mga, ng face nyo talaga, kung parang, oh, oh, meron kasi minsan nakakalusot. Pero for this one, I think, ah, uh, Meron kasi siyang AI technology. AI yung nagpa-power nagpa ng face unlock niya. So kapag ka okay, magka okay yung ano, yung face facial structure natin, mas ma masasiguro nating secure yung face unlock ng phone ng Honor 8. Mm -hmm. Pero ang picture ba gagana ko eh? Pinapakita lang ako ng isang picture, will it unlock the phone? Ah, uh, kailangan talaga yung face. Kailangan yung yes. face talaga. Okay. Well, siguro that's another thing that we want to check. Next time, no, we'll put the Honor 8S to the test. Ano ba talaga yung face unlock? Because I think the face unlock is not a feature of the Honor 8S lang. Some of the, is, it, is it a new feature ng Honor? Is this uh, the first phone that they have with the face unlock? Uh, no, but uh, for, the, for an entry-level phone, talagang uh, na value na yung face unlock. Well, not the first. Meron, not the first. Not the okay. first, but value talaga yung face unlock for the entry-level phones. Okay. So, yeah. So, we can just, so, yeah. Actually, 
pag uh, gusto ko rin bumili ng Honor 8s na phone, no? parang ipangregalo nga sa mga sa mga pamangkin, syempre, yung mga nag-aaral pa or yung, So I need this for for them para syempre kapag nag-aaral, so check ng assignments sa uh, internet, syempre mobile mobile na tayo ngayon. In, mobile, gumagana na sa mobile internet yung ating uh, world today. So mm-hmm. yeah, so yeah, gusto ko siyang ibibigay sa sa, sa pamangkin or yan, for a gift. Yeah, so syempre yung uh, no being uh, entry budget phone Ah, uh, hindi masyado masakit sa bulsa, yeah, pa, uh, ipang regalo. Which is 5490 only for 5, that. 5490 only that tapos features. talagang magagamit niya. I mean, you can use it for browsing, you can use it for games, you can use it for uh, streaming, I mean, watching movies. Syempre, hindi mawawala 'yung mga mahilig makinig ng music, yeah, 'di ba? Uh, so, talagang sulit na sulit itong uh, phone na 'to. Plus, of course, good quality camera pa tayo. Yes, yun yan. Mm-hmm. Which is a flagship level F1.8 aperture. So also, siyempre, meron pa isang feature to, which is yung back glass niya. So, uh, this is a uh, ma- durable talaga yung back, yung back niya. So, hindi siya ganun, hindi siya namabali. So, kaya niya tumagal ng... So, kasi ngayon, di ba, parang every year palit tayo ng phone kasi ganyan, may mga issues. Pero for this, kapag binili mo to, sobrang durable niya. And sobrang uh, hindi siya naiipit. So, kahit, kapag... Ay, Kapag ka nilagay mo siya sa back pocket, so hindi mo siya talaga ma- nagbe-bend or something like that. Kasi sobrang durable niya. So if, if, we, if we see, so I will just uh, pop it here. So parang ganyan. So hindi mo siya, hindi siya nagbe-bend. So sir, pwede mong itry na okay. i-bend i- test yan. So, subukan nga natin. Yes. So ito, pinasa sa akin tong Honor 8S. So sabi nila, kahit i-push mo siya, hindi siya nagbe-bend. Of course, di naman natin sinasadyang sirain yung telepono. So yun nga, uh, as you move it, ito, dinalagyan ko na ng pressure, no? Hanggang ganyan lang umaabot. But of course, minsan, bigla tayo napapaupo na nakalimutan natin, nasa bulsa natin. Will it actually break? Well, I don't think I can do that right now. But, uh, paano naman, sir, yung, yung glass nito? Is it something na comparable? I mean, I know this is a low-end budget phone. But, uh, syempre, sa mga naglalaro, mga mahilig maglaro ng games, hindi maiiwasan dyan. They, they really put pressure dito sa mga phones nila. Ano yung chances na mag-break to? Is it something na... Uh, alam ko yung iba gumagamit ng Gorilla Glass, yung mga dragon Ay, yung mga dragon ito. tail. Well, for that, uh, kasi hindi tayo, gumagamit, hindi tayo gumamit ng Gorilla Glass for that one. Since, syempre, entry-level phone is, that's more than you, we can ask for. Mm-hmm. So, pero, for that, we, we are powered by Huawei Technologies din. Mm-hmm. So, makasisiguro, makasisiguro tayong uh, durable talaga yung ating hardware and so- software ng ating Honor 8S. Ah, uh. So, syempre, no? I mean, being a, uh, an entry-level budget phone, uh, this is not really meant to be dropped or talaga to be put in so much stress test na talaga sinasabi natin kasi eh, we're, 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 we're paying uh, 5,490 yeah. pesos only. So, we don't expect the same features as dun sa mga 15,000, 18,000. Pero, syempre, uh, parang okay na yan. Sulit, again, sulit for that price. Oh, kung, kung talagang ito lang yung kaya mong budget, what we can actually commit, no? is that you can use this for play you can use this for of course for your uh, communication needs you can use it for entertainment is this an lte yes yeah, yes actually this is lte capable so kaya na, so mabilis na internet speed 4g po kaya niya capable siya for that okay so yun po no lte cable so don't you don't need to worry kasi of course some of the budget phones that have that are coming out or may ibang binebenta 3g pa rin hanggang ngayon yes, but this uh, one is lte capable so wala kang problema sa 4G network natin ngayon. Ano po ang GPU ah, so ng GPU Honor 8S? So, GPU is uh, PowerVR GE8320. PowerVR? GE8320. GE8320. Yes. So, yan yung naka-partner yan kay uh, Mediatek Helio A22. So, okay. kaya sinasabi kong uh, okay siyang laruin. For, pwede siyang maglaro ng ML. Good for ML din siya. Viewers out there, tandaan po natin. Honor 8S coming out on July 19 at the price of 5,490 only. Sulit na sulit para sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat mga viewers and keep sharing at baka kayo ang manalo ng phone na to. Bye-bye!